Hi, musky walleye, salmon, trout. <laughs> All right, guys, my dad has a special surprise for us here today. He brought some antique lures. My dad likes to collect them. We're going to see if we can catch some fish on these things. Tell me a little bit about these lures, Dad. Well, they're old. The bomber is, they're wooden. They're solid wood. They got metal plates. They got glass eyes. They've been collected over the years. I have hundreds of them that you and Ben River can sort out when I'm gone. The big copper blades and the uh, big hooks with the feathers just attract me. I love the old wooden lures. I love the glass eyes. They're, they're artful. And these were some of the, you know, kind of rejects. They're not really worth any money, but all of them have a story. We just don't know what it is. Oh, I like that. I like that. That is a good way to put it. All of them have a story. We just don't know what it is. Look at that. A 1948 custom. That's wild. Yeah. That's wild. Of course, yeah. of course, when they painted it, they ruined the value. <laughs> you know, if it, if it was an original paint, we wouldn't be fishing. These are pretty it. cool. I would say, you know, you've got some top orders in here. Or the top orders, we got a little sun today, so it's probably not going to be fire. But these little uh, lipped baits could do something. Look at that's oh yeah an yeah that's an bait. old old gay blade I think is what they called it back then. Well, that's an original Guggen special. Maybe not. Or it looks terrible. <laughs> I mean that thing is stiff as a canoe. Really cool. You got some great stuff. So let's tie it on. Let's see if we can uh, actually catch some fish with some retro lures. Let's do it. Antiques. What is this? Is this that's Actual, um, mother of pearl. Yeah. That's mother of pearl. Oh, that is wild. Never even heard of that using that. That's earth materials. Look at this big uh, copper spinner. Oh my gosh, I bet a pike would crush that thing. You know, that's it's according to what contest. You know, we need to figure out is it the first fish? Or is it the biggest fish? Um, mm. Oh, you want to do a competition and see yeah, what kind of nasty of stuff course. you have to eat? Of course. Let's compete. Big, biggest fish in an hour. I mean, what do you feel like your punishment is? Oh, no. You're wanting a consequence is what you no, said. No. I, uh, let's make this friendly. You just said I you lose a every time. Okay. That's a killer. All right. This thing has been fire right here, but I'm going to cut it off. This thing may become collectible after what I catch on. Oh, okay. It used to be really good trolling space, right? So that was kind of wild. All right, this thing looks like a bomb. Oh my gosh, it actually runs true. We have a chance right here. Just need to get in the right rocky area, not get piked, and we will be in business. Okay, okay first fish three points most fish five points most species two points look, look, look. oh my god a giant pike did you see that yeah you had a pike on it wow wow dad is excited about his lure i am okay you like it Creek Chub Original. And these are original hooks also. Oh, 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 oh. oh no! Oh. Dad's hooked up. The old antique. Hope the lures are in. The hooks. That is Boy, the first fish. He is not fooling around. He's getting that in the boat. Three points for Dad. <laughs> Dad with a three-point move to take the lead. Tiny little smallmouth, but he wanted he wanted the ugly perch. He did. Sure did. Crushed it. And these hooks probably. Okay, that was big. Diseases. Yeah, don't uh, don't get hooked. You might get some 1950s germs on you. It's a pretty good a little action. It's the original bomber, you said. Mm hmm. Huh. Got 
got him. Oh. No. Got him on the antique. And it's a good one. This ain't no, oh this ain't no smeasly smallmouth, okay? All right, this fish is counted. Yeah. There was a loon fishing right next to us. It's gotta be good. He's looking down there. He's liking what he's seeing. I gotta get me a few fish here. Competition ends in an hour and 20 minutes. Snatchy. Yes. Ooh. There he is. Oh, he came off with the hooks. Thought what you did there. Slipped in on my bird dog, my quail. God. Bless America. Ah, thought that was her. Pike. Oh, come on. Or it's a walleye. It's another species. Maybe a walleye. It's a, it's a walleye. A walleye? I got a walleye on the old bomber. Wow. Yep. And he just came off the hook. Yes, you got him. Yes, I got him. Oh, that's a close one. All right, I'm going to let this guy go. Nice walleye. 20 inch plus. On a crankbait. I am in the lead with an hour and 10 minutes left competition. I didn't get the first fish. Dad has that. Oh, smallmouth followed your lure in. Smallmouth followed your lure in. It is possible. I'm hooked up. Smallmouth. It come off. It came off. God, it, yeah, the trouble is getting these things in. With these hooks mm -hmm. have a follower oh smallmouth fall dad's lure in did not strike it said get that wooden antique out of my face sir back to the box yeah you got to figure eight them next time these lures have them curious but not really biting oh oh i had one follow me too Oh, it's a big pike. Oh my God, that was a huge pike. That was a huge Man. pike. That was 35. Oh, I need that fish. That was a big pike. Oh, I need that fish. He was, he was big. How you feel about competition right now? Well, I caught the first fish on my wooden lure. Three points. And I had to change because y'all were, you know, boating me up there and I was trying to catch smaller fish. Oh goodness, glad I looked oh, at that. snap was undone. Yeah. And yeah, so you actually, had, you had the first fish, which is three points. Right. And then that's, every fish is a point, so you have four. I've got two fish for two points, 
most species for two points, which is four, and then I have uh, the most fish, which was five points. Oh no! So I have nine <laughs> points. Nine to four. Nine to um, mm -hmm. nine to four to a competitor. Yeah. A competitor. He's in the top three though. That's right. He's top got three. a chance. He's in the top three. Yeah. And consequences? Consequences. What do you think is a proper consequence for the loser? Well, we got to clean the cabin, but I think I think whoever's last needs to clean the toilets. <sighs> toilets. So wrong. All you got to do is catch three real quick, and then you've yeah, got eight points. Get there, right now I'm in the toilet. These lures suck, but we're going to keep trying to catch some fish on them. Been playing me. Oh my gosh, that's actually a big one there, Brett. That's a big one. Oh my gosh. That might be the biggest one on the trip. I need the net. I know I need the net. This is a big, this is big points right here. This puts you on the board. This puts you on the board. Get him in. My gosh, on the creek chub. Switched over the chub and boom. Oh damn, I need a bigger net. This might be a 20 inch smallmouth. I think that's a 20 inch smallmouth. Definitely your biggest ever. <laughs> you got him! Woo! Dang up! I gotta know how long that fish is. All right. I gotta measure that puppy when you get him off. He's fixed to be off. Guys, that is crazy. Biggest smallmouth of the trip potentially comes on a 50s creek chub. That's a, unreal. That's a big one there, Brett. That's as, about as big as they come up here. Nope. 19 and a half. 19 and a half. That's as big as we've seen on this trip. Hell of a smallmouth, dude. Oh, guys, there's number two. Uh-oh. There is number two. Number, right two, number right two on the creek chub. I was, oh, wow. Look at that bad boy. Come on, take a little Come on into it's it. It's a smallmouth. Oh, you can look at it. I oh yeah, all that, look at, uh, yep, there he goes. There it is. Learning. 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 There you go. All right. Two fish. Competition is tense right now. Me and you are actually tied for most fish, which would be five points. So you have seven points. There's a fish. Oh. I got a fish on. Oh man, I had one. He's got one. And it's a walleye. Oh no. No, you already had a walleye. Okay. Yep. Uh oh. I'm about to break uh -oh. my own rod. Oh, no. Uh oh. Hey, walleye's like the old bomber. Okay. He's 17 and three quarters. But we got a, other food tonight, right? Yes, we do. Okay, I'm gonna let this one go. But puts me at three fish on the antiques. At the ten now. I'm at ten. Yeah, you got two. I got ten. America's not happy. But hey, it's close. I just hooked a perch, boys. I did. And that is not good news for you. LFD, four points. Brett with two points. Myself with 11 points now. Dad switched it up to a classic blade bait. I'm only two fish ahead for total fish, which is five. So someone could come back and get this thing. We have I'll give you a well, sandwich. I'll 15 sandwich minutes left. Water. So we're gonna pause the clock for a spot change, we'll begin the clock at the next spot. See who comes out on top. Hoping it's me. I don't want to be cleaning them toilets tonight. You know what I mean? I want to be drinking beer, be a champion. Here we go. Hey, you know what? This thing actually casts really well. Man, my line is torn up though. From hitting just tons of rocks. I need to retie. Yeah, competition. It's back on. 15 minutes. From now. From right now. 
Oh. I think Brett just about. <laughs> Break the chub? Yep. He's thinking uh, about broke his chub. I'm uh, I'm uh, losing it. Smoked it against the boat. All right. Well. I'm losing it. Let's see here. Let's see if I can catch one more to seal the deal. Stretch is looking mighty small now. See, oh, oh, we got a fish. I got no, a fish. No, I got no. a fish. It's a pike. No, it's a big pike. You hit it twice. Oh. Go. Did it go off? Yeah. yeah, I still got my lure. Did you have a look at him? No, I didn't. okay. It could have been a smallmouth, but it hit it. Oh, dad's got a fish on. Big smallmouth. I probably had a small mouth then. Dad's got a small mouth. Can he get his fifth point in the boat? Oh, boat flipping. What's the move? Oh, it counts. He just spit out a big crawfish too. Oh yeah. All right, LFD with five. Lots of boulders, shallow, small mouth, everywhere. We've probably caught a dozen fish on a tube by now. Two minute warning. Okay. Right now. Two minute warning. Come on. Come on. One fish a minute. Brett's staying on the point. I'm just hanging back because I've got, I've got a commando lead right now. What's gonna happen? Is Buddy Blade gonna gonna do something? Blade's gonna win. Is it the little mermaid? Is it the creek chub? Strong. Oh you had a fish fall on it. You had a perch oh. fall on it. Failure to see the fish at boats. I don't know. Oh, he's hooked up. Oh, oh no! He's hooked up. Big one. No. Is he still on? I don't know. Dead. I think it was a pie. I don't know. One minute. Come on, come on, come on. Three, two, one. Anybody hooked on? No. It's gonna wrap up the antique lure challenge. They were very inefficient, sucked to fish over <laughs> modern day lures, but it was kind of fun. It was kind of fun to see what would happen. And I'm surprised I actually caught two walleyes. Well, ladies and gentlemen, our time up here north of the wall has come to a close. Great competition today. Using the antique lures, my dad just busted those things out. I didn't even know he brought them up here. Really cool to see uh, some lures that are 70, 80 years old catching fish. Brett's cleaning the toilets right now. He's uh, not too excited about that, but hey, you know, you entered the competition, you gotta take the consequences. So thank you guys for tuning in to all these episodes. Man, I enjoyed making these up here with my dad and his buddies. It's just. It's good times up here, man. Great times. And since we've been up here all week, we have met some new people and we got some new opportunities. So, so, so when we come back, we can go crappie fishing. There's some other lakes. We've got lake trout opportunities. Um, there's the community around here is so friendly and nice and, uh, and, and just closely knit. It's awesome to see. On that note, shout out to the fishing freaks that I ran into up here. Surprisingly, there were a few and then also just the new friends I made while up here north of the wall. And I will see you guys back in the US for another great outdoor adventure. Life's hard. <clears throat> it's always better to finish first.